people. What tales are weaved in murder and death? But now our tale takes us to a tavern where two tavern men are enjoying a drink waiting for female company. And in the guise of men, Griselda and Juliet do appear. <laughs> Friend. Uh, uh, friend of mine. Friend of thy I am. Aye, aye, aye. For drinks we shall share and love we shall create and bond and procreate. Indeed, we shall indeed. share in drinks, but shall we share in women as well? <laughs> yes, indeed, mm. woman. For one does specify woman as love and procreate, unless. Such. Unless such a drink shall not present tonight. Yeah. So such drinks nor render one's sword unable oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Not quite a mile. My lady, my lady, I do not hear men seek of love over here. For let us stay unsexed and be boastful and see what stories we can draw upon to see if they are worthy of you. Uh, piss it upon the drink, I will! Well, uh, man of stature, I see competition uh, we have. Uh, uh, yes. uh, uh, I would speak of my sword and beard. Uh, and I know that they are strong in the land, uh, and of good nature and of good reputation. Uh, aye, aye, aye. Have you heard such legend of the man named Kamsa? Ah! <laughs> I have but heard this name. I thought him a myth, but something in a bottle. A myth! A myth, I say, a real as mother Russia and mother Ukraine it is, that stand in odds with each other. Uh, Tis sorry and bad times for that. Thinks that one. Well, oh, perhaps, but not for me. My friend, strangely attracted I am to those men. Hey. <laughs> hey. Attracted I am not for any of those men. <laughs> for you or must approach. A maiden such as thee should not be so choosy. <laughs> <laughs> I must confess that I do look pretty appreciable. <laughs> For let me but intelligence more, and but stealthily make my way over to hear but what they speak of. Flirt not too much! <laughs> uh, oh, good friends, good friends, uh, let, let me speak For let me, I... for let me buy ales for three. Uh, for liquor does loosen the tongue. great joy, great joy. So, so of great Coxmans, you have both been known to be. Coxman, indeed, we are. Yes, yes, yes. But for, I would have but some knowledge of thee. For if thou was to see a woman of hair of fire and a woman of hair of raven, which would thou choose? For, hey. <laughs> Fire! 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 For I do enjoy such sanguine of color of primary of red! Us uh, raven! Raven is an intelligent animal like you and I! And we speak of wisdom and fly, fly high above the land of the stone. <laughs> And crushed under such horrible and horrible Tis tales of horror I do hear. <laughs> Tis tales of stupidity for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for let us away, dear princess. I do not think that I can find my husband in this tavern. It smells like pee. <laughs> <laughs> away then, away. Away, we shall. I follow that. <laughs> And I'll follow this one. Uh -huh. mm. Ah! <laughs> for the sweet Juliet does strike out like mighty Casey at the bat. <laughs> for then our tale now does take us to Council One with 
girl five and girl three. Hi, Council One. Oh, how I wish for number one and number three. Design girl three. <laughs> oh, yes. Four put on to service, uh, but now demand payment, 30 crowns. For but around the world we did go, and for thou did toss up twice. It's true, but I did not think you noticed. <laughs> You uh, didn't notice, did you? I but was snoring and perhaps asleep. I did want to speak after and you did not speak to me. It was quite upsetting. For what man does crave conversation after such an act? <laughs> me, I am quite a gentle soul, in fact. <laughs> I am a beauty of a man. A man who loves himself more than love itself. Oh, Do you understand? Tis but my luck. Always but to find the ones who want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Please talk to me now. Tell me how beautiful I was when I was trusting you. Tell me. Tell me how you looked into my eyes and you, you almost saw God. How you never felt so good. How you felt as though you were flying over a field. Ah, oh, dear and sweet counsel, one thou thrust like a panda drunk on me. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. But you are trying to get on my good side, yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. For thou powers in the bed are but like a koala bear who has not had eucalyptus. <laughs> it's true. I am but like a koala bear hanging in a tree upside down with chlamydia all in my body. Oh yes, how I love to sit in a tree upside down sucking on a this tree. Drunk as I am and throwing rocks at birds. Oh, yes, the days, the days. And you know me well. And thy sword is but like a duck bill platter. <laughs> Tis true. Tis but true. soft and flat, like the iron I used to iron my blouse. It is true, it is quite like a platypus's beak. I, if I lived in a different land, I may be able to play cricket with it. <laughs> oh yes, oh, I shall bar, protect these wickets with my flat dick. But yes, indeed. Pray yes. thee tell, counsel. Yes. For what thou art do come into this town? For to spend time with women of repute as of I is not for such a gentleman of you. For rumor is but Juliet does wander the taverns, but in the guise of a man, but searching for one to love. In the guise of a man. In the guise of a man. Oh, for then this plan, <laughs> for thou shalt desex thyself, and in the guise of a woman does seek out Juliet in the guise of a man. Away! Let us get you dressed! <laughs> <laughs>